hi guys hello hello okay I'm gonna wait a second to start talking before more people join um let's see okay hi hello 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 hi guys okay so yes I am packing to go to Disneyland. Some of you guys may know, some of you guys might not know. I am going to be going to Disneyland for five days, but I'm going to be in California for a week. And before I get into anything else, no, I have not arranged or scheduled any meetups at all whatsoever or meet and greets or anything like that. This is more of a just vacation type thing for my mom and I. But um, if you guys are in the parks and or you see me down there somewhere, I will be mainly in the Anaheim area. Um, if you see me, don't hesitate to say hi. I would love to meet you guys and take pictures with you and just all of that fun stuff. So please, please, please do not be shy. If you see me, say hi. Uh, remember that motto because so many people will message me after I get back home and say things like, I saw you at so-and-so, but I was too nervous to say anything. No, please say hi. I don't bite. I promise. I would love to meet you guys and everything. So if you see me in that area, um, uh, yeah, just feel free to say hi and everything. But um, uh, it will be this next week. And we will have someone taking care of our house and our animals. So in case you were curious what's going to be going on with Luna and Star and Rebel, um, I am not taking any of them with me, but we are going to have someone uh, taking care of them for us. It's just going to be my sister and her family. They're going to be um, taking care of our babies while we're gone. So don't fear over that. They're not abandoned. They will be well taken care of and the house will be looked after and everything like that. Not to mention I do have my little pet cube camera so I'll be able to spy on my pets while I'm gone um, but yeah I'm very excited um, I've been to Disneyland about six times this will be either my sixth or seventh time I don't exactly remember but a majority of the reason that I wanted to go back is I haven't been in so long and I have missed it so much and I wanted to go back so badly the last time I went was nine years ago, uh, so yeah, I need to go back. I really, I really need to go back, and it has my heart. Disneyland has my heart. I love it there. I've also been to California Adventure. I've done like the park hopper thing and everything, and we always stay at the hotel that's like directly across the street from the main entrance, so it's very easy. Um, but the very first time I went, I was four years old. And this year, right now, I am 24 years old. So it has been exactly 20 years since my very first trip. And I want to go back and recreate some of my baby Manda photos there and just kind of just reminisce on, I don't know, it's just one of my favorite places to go and my mom loves it so much. And every single time that I had gone prior to now, my mom has taken me and she's paid for it and it has been amazing and I wanted to take her for once and just give back to her after all of the crap that she's been through over the past years. This isn't just for me, this is for her as well and I will be, uh, I've already reserved a scooter for her to rent like a little motorized one so she does not have to do any walking in the parks. Um, she and it's really cool because the hotel that we're staying at actually rents out the scooters in the lobby so it's even more convenient which is awesome so I'm running that out for her and we have a couple other plans while we're there and everything so anyway this is a packing video so I'm gonna show you guys what I am packing so far uh, there are some last-minute things that I won't be able to show you guys because it's kind of scattered everywhere and I won't be putting it in till like an hour before I go so I have my makeup and my makeup brushes um, my flat irons not in here yet but my curling wand is I'm gonna be like waving my hair before I go so I'll probably put my straightener in here in a couple uh, hours or so after it's done cooling down because I just used it to straighten my hair 
Um, but basically I have a whole little booklet list of all of my essentials. I can tell you one thing right now, the number one thing you learn going to Disneyland or theme parks in general, wear comfortable clothing, including shoes, mainly shoes. You do not want to be miserable when you are trekking through the parks all day, every day for a week straight. You will be miserable if you are not comfortable. So I got some comfy shoes in here. I got another pair of shoes in here. It's just, I'm going to go through everything. Nope. Disneyland, California. Uh, anyway. Yes. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys the exciting part, which is the stuff that I am taking basically to go to the parks with. And then I'll be showing you all of my outfits that I plan on wearing and taking as well. I'm not packing as much as I typically would. And I say that very loosely because it's like, there's still a lot of clothes here. But, um, I plan on probably buying clothes while I'm there, like souvenir t-shirts and stuff like that. So I'm not packing like a ton of clothing like I usually would. So, uh, yeah, let's get on into this. Ugh. Oh, hold on. It says very bad connection. So I hope we're okay. <laughs> Let me know if we're not. That'd be cool. Is it bad connection? Can you guys hear me? Can you see me? Is it okay? Is it fuzzy? Is it all good? I just want to make sure it's okay before I go ahead and get started in this. No replies. I don't know. It's fine. Okay. I'm just going to go off that one. Okay. You're good. You're good. It's okay. Hi. Hi Angel. Okay. So da -da -da, here we go. Okay. So the things I'm going to be taking for the parks, I'm going to start with shoes because that's a given. Um, I got these Marie. Oh my gosh. Is this going to focus? Okay. There we go. I got these Marie shoes from Hot Topic a while back. They're just little like sneakers and I got these little clip on shoe bows to put on top of them. So these are my number one comfy shoes that I'm going to be taking. Uh, number two for my comfy shoes are my jellies, but some people see these and they're like, Oh my gosh, you're going to get massive blisters. I never wear my jellies without socks. So I love to have like cute little Disney socks kind of like peeking through and showing through the clear jellies. So I have, um, they're in here somewhere. I'm packing like all of my cute little Disney snocks, Disney snocks, Disney snocks to, uh, show through my little jelly shoes. So those are my two shoe shoes that I'm going to be wearing just throughout the week. Um, and then I'm bringing flip flops for when I walk back and forth to the pool or I just have to slip something on when I'm already at the hotel. Um, I will not be wearing these while I'm in the actual park. That is a big mistake. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. So I just got, I'll just go ahead and show you guys this, even though it's kind of like part of the clothing aspect of everything. I got this. I ordered it off of eBay, but it's originally from Primark and it is just a fleece Marie little sweatshirt. So that's, I can wear that whenever, wherever need be. Um, and then these things right here. Okay. So, um, for the actual park, I have two little pass holders to put my little pass in and then they unzip right here. You guys have seen these on my Instagram before I've posted them, but they unzip and you can have like a little compartment, uh, to put, you know, your card or cash or whatever in and have it dangling as like a little necklace right by you. So it's not like you're going to get pickpocketed or something while you're going through the parks. It's right there and it's not going to be stolen or anything like that. So I have this Shelly May one that I ordered off of eBay. It's originally from Disney Tokyo... Oh, Tokyo Disney Sea is where it's originally from. And then I just got this one. I got from US Shoppings something on Instagram. If you guys are confused, there's a post on it on my Instagram page. But it is the new Marie one from, uh, I think this one's from Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, Tokyo, 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 Japan. Tokyo Disney Resort. And this is the Marie one. And it unzips and everything. I know you guys can't really see because my... My, I'm filming on my phone right now, so it unzips, and then it has a little pocket right there that you can put your cards and your passes in and everything like that. So I will be taking those to have my passes in. And then the bag I will be taking is my little fluffy rabbit bag that I got off of eBay. You guys have seen these all over the place, I'm sure. But I have it decked out with all of my 
Disney pins and I plan to probably get more add to it. Um, I probably won't be trading any. Uh, I don't know if that's like conceited or shelf selfish or anything like that, but I'm not really much of a pin trader. I kind of just like to get the pins I like and that's about it. I don't like buy ones that eh, and then trade them off. So most of these are from Just Peachy. And then some of them I got off of eBay and stuff like that. This one I got off um, from a seller on Depop, I think it was. And then these are the park bound buttons. Um, I think I've tagged them before on Instagram as well. Not sure about this one yet, but, um, yeah, there are all of my little pins. And then in here I am taking my own ears. I don't think I'm going to be buying ears while I'm there because when my sister went to the parks she got me the giant mini bow that I really really wanted so I don't have the need to buy one now so I can just take it with me. Um, I'm taking these mini ears that were made by ears by Alyssa I believe on Instagram I think but they have a cute little mini pattern again you can't really see there we go mini pattern sparkly bow they look adorable on so I'll be taking these to wear and also my suitcase is from AliExpress I have a full review video of it on my vlog channel the link to my vlog channel is in the description box but I have a full review on this suitcase in case you want to see that um, here is the big mini bow that my sister got me. This is from actual Disneyland in California and it's just so sparkly and cute and it is humongous. I love it. It's adorable. I cannot wait to wear this while I'm there. So I had her get that for me so I didn't have to get it when I was there and I just paid her back for it. Um, actually, I think she gave it to me as a gift. I don't remember. I told her I was going to pay her back for it but she ended up just like not accepting my money or something like that. I don't know. And then I'm going to be taking my Marie kitten ears that I made. They just look like this and they're on a little headband. So I'll be taking these as well. Keep in mind, I'm going to be in the parks for five days. So I have a lot of time to kind of fluctuate my ear pieces or head pieces and outfits and all that stuff. And then in here I just have this little uh, Marie coin purse that I got from Hot Topic. I figured that I could just, there you go, now you can see it. I figured I could just put whatever in here that needs to be in here. And all of my pins. I'm going to give you guys a little quick tip right now. Um, you can either use one of the Eda bags um, like that have the transparent front in them. You can pin all of your Disney pins and stuff in those when you go to the park so that no one can steal them while they're walking by you and stuff. Or if you have a bag like this, get locking pin backs. Then that way no one can come along and just like pull it out of your backpack or anything like that. It's like a struggle to get it off um, because these are all locking backs so you don't have to worry about anyone stealing it or like a little kid coming up to you and accidentally grabbing it off or you know what have you you don't have to deal with that so i love locking pin backs and you can just get those in packs of like 10 or 20 off of ebay um i'm taking two pair of sunglasses the ones that i will be keeping in my purse are my blinged out ones from share bear phone cases but then i'm just going to be taking these white heart shaped ones from ebay so that is basically the gist of what I'm going to be carrying around with me or taking with me um, throughout the parks. Um, but obviously I'll have other things inside of my bag as well. I haven't figured all of that out exactly just yet, but I'll be transferring things from my purse to there. If need be, I'll be taking a water bottle that I can constantly just refill so I don't have to be paying for water the whole time that I'm there. That's another quick tip. Uh, and also, I have heard and read that you are allowed to bring snacks and stuff into the parks with you. So I'll probably like bring a bag of chips or a bag of like trail mix or something like that in my bag. Um, just as a little snack while I'm there. I do plan on trying so many sweets and treats and I'm so excited for everything. So I won't, I won't feel neglected by not being able to try all of the Disneyland goodies, but I'll be able to have a little bit self-control if I bring my own snacks and stuff. So 
that is what is in that compartment. I can go ahead and put my little shoes back here. I'll rearrange this again later, but then this little piece folds over. In here, in this little bag, I'm going to be taking my camera stuff. So I'll be taking my camera, my chargers. My camera's going to be in my actual um, backpack purse while I'm leaving and going through the airport and everything because I will be vlogging. I will be vlogging everything. So, well, not everything, but I have my camera. I have two 64 gigabyte SD cards and I have three batteries and I'm bringing my charger and so everything like that in here. I just have, um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys the phone cases. I know I get questions on this. Which phone cases are you taking? I'm going to be taking my Mophie charging case, which is an obvious must because I need to have the constant battery life while I'm in the parks. Um, but then I'm just going to be taking these two. Just, I'm not going to like go overboard and take like 50 phone cases. That would be ridiculous, but I'm going to take this mini silicone one. And then I'm going to take this Marie one that I put uh, my little pop socket on so that I can grip it easier. And then I also have a little ring keychain on here so I can put it around my finger so I won't drop it. Um, but that is that one. And I got both of those off of AliExpress. So there are those. And then I'm going to be taking my little tripod because I may or may not do a live stream with my mom at some point while we're there. So you guys can get excited for that. It will be here on my channel. Um, let's see what now. So yeah, all my camera stuff will be in here. My cords, my chargers, my charger for my Mophie case. Um, all of that stuff will be in here. And in my little, this is the bag that I'm going to be taking probably on the airport and stuff. Uh, my iPad fits in here, which is crazy, but my iPad fits in here. I'll be taking my phone, my camera, things will be in here. Um, I'm still contemplating whether I should use this bag when I go like through the airport and everything, cause I'm not going to take a carry on on the way down, but I am packing, I forgot to show this to you guys. I am packing an empty backpack which kind of sounds weird to some people, but I'm packing an empty backpack. This is one of the lounge fly ones. It is Marie. Empty, completely empty. And this is for souvenirs and whatever else on the way back. Um, that if I need to, for whatever reason, stuff this space with souvenirs, I can also fill this up and use it as my carry on on the way home. Again, that's only if absolute necessary. I plan on kind of going a little crazy and shopping quite a bit. So definitely the best advice I can give is either leave room in your suitcase or don't take a carry-on on the way down and pack an empty bag in your bag that will qualify as a carry-on for the trip back. Then that way you can put all of your souvenirs and knickknacks and everything that you buy in that bag and just use it as a carry-on um, on the way back. So that's one thing that I've also learned over the years of going, definitely have enough space in your bag to buy stuff when you're down there. Otherwise, you're going to be really sad because you're going to have to ship them to your house or something and it'll take up time at the post office and it'll cost you extra money and it'll just be a pain. So, side note, definitely do that because it's very helpful. Um, okay, I'm just very excited because I haven't been in so long and I want to go back so bad. <laughs> okay, so next we have, ugh, and this suitcase really isn't as big as it seems it is, but I have a lot of leftover room in it, which I'm not mad about. I'm very excited that I have so much leftover space because that gives me room to uh, fill it while I'm there. <laughs> Okay, so this little um, mini suitcase thing actually came with the big one. Uh, the big one is actually just a bigger version of this. And in here, I just have most of my essentials. And I have band-aids, tampons, hair ties, things like that. I have my own washcloth so I can wipe my makeup and face and everything. And I don't dirty the hotel one so I don't get charged for dirtying them up or whatever it is that it may be. Um, then I have some tape. I'm also going to be taking scissors because you never know if you're going to need them or not. In here I have some lotion, some body wash, 
uh, some hand sanitizer, some little perfumes. Uh, I put them in a little plastic bag so if they burst open, they won't ruin everything else. And look at these little bags my mom found at Dollar Tree. They have Minnie and Daisy on them, so they're perfect. So yeah, that's very cute. I'm taking some of my shampoo little mixture, so if I have to, um, I will be there a whole week, so I'm assuming I'll probably shower or wash my hair at least. I'll shower more often than washing my hair, but I'll probably wash my hair at least once while I'm down there, so I want to take my little mixture with me. This is the Glam Glow Dream Duo. I love putting this on my face before bed. Uh, not every night, but often. And I just got this Glam Glow little charcoal cleanser stuff. I tried it the other night. My skin didn't react to it or anything weird. So I'm taking it with me so I can cleanse my face every day after I take my makeup off. Um, I'll be taking makeup remover wipes and that stuff too. Sunscreen! I should have put this in the other bag so I knew to talk to you about this, but sunscreen is a must no matter the time of year when you are going to theme parks and you're going to be out in the sun all day, no matter where it is. Sunscreen is a must. My favorite is the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Lotion Sunscreen, and it just looks like that. So I have that, and then I will also be bringing my little self-tanner. I don't know if I'm going to need to touch up while I'm down there, but whatever. I'm bringing it anyway. And then in here, I have my toothbrush, my, um, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my razor, all that stuff. And then I'm going to be taking... I don't have them in here yet because they're kind of last minute things, but my hairbrush, my deodorant, my, let's see, I have a little list. Let me just tell you what they are here. I have like six lists on here. Uh, deodorant, hairbrush, straightener, curling wand, uh, tweezers, scissors, nail clippers, my sleeping mask, and my earplugs because sometimes I can't sleep at night. Um... Then my scrunchies and more hair ties for my hair in case. And that's pretty much all my essentials. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. All right. And then I have all of my purse essentials, but I haven't transferred things from my purse over to my little backpack purse yet. Because, like I said, I, I haven't gotten that far yet. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much everything that are that is in that little thing as well. And then now I'll go ahead and, oh, you know what? I should just put everything back in here because it needs to be in there. Oh, it needs to be in there anyway. So why not take a crazy chance? Let me know what your guys' favorite Disney movie is. It can be um, anything. It could be animated. It could be real. It could be whatever you so choose. What is your guys' favorite Disney movies? Mine are um, The Lion King. Well, number one is Aristocats because obviously Marie is my favorite. I love Lady and the Tramp. I love Lion King. I would have to say that those are pro. Oh, Bambi. Those are my top four, I'd have to say. So, yes. Um, also, I am going to be eating at the Blue Bayou restaurant for the first time. That is exciting. I called and made my reservations like a month or so ago, and so we'll be eating there. It sucks because I heard that the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is going to be closed for unexpected refurbishing. So that kind of sucks because that's one of my mom's favorite rides. That's why I got us reservations in the Blue Bayou. Um... So I don't know if there's going to be, I don't know if like the construction or refurbishing is going to affect, um, like the view from the restaurant at all. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know exactly yet. Oh, also I'm taking slippers. I put them in this bag. I don't really know why I just did, but they're pink slippers that I got off of eBay. So nothing fancy, nothing special. My ring light just made a weird clicking noise. Did you hear that? I really hope I don't have to replace that soon. <laughs> okay, uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some outfits that I'm gonna be taking. Um, I'm taking this little dress that I got. It's just a little tube dress. I think I got it from Goodwill or a thrift store somewhere. I don't remember which one, but I'm just taking that as a swimsuit cover. So I'm not gonna be like wearing that as an outfit. And then here's my little swimsuit I'll be taking. It just looks like this. It's got the little top and then the bottoms 
So there's my swimming suit. And then um, bra and underwear. I'll just leave that to the imagination. It's pretty much all Adore Me stuff. Nothing you guys have never seen before. So yeah. And then I'm taking all of my little sockies, my Tsum Tsum socks that I got that you guys saw in my Puppy Surprise unboxing, and then a couple Minnie Mouse ones that you guys have seen on my Instagram and stuff. So nothing really different there. Um, I'm taking a couple cardigans to kind of interchange with my outfits because it's supposed to be very nice weather, like in the afternoons and everything, but I'm not sure about evenings and the mornings just yet and I get cold really easy so I'm just bringing like these thin little covers just in case I have to use them or I want to coordinate them with my outfits but this lilac one is from Yoins and it is just a little sparkly cardigan and then I'm taking this one that has a little bit longer sleeves that is pink and honestly the more that I'm looking at everything that I have packed I'm probably only just going to end up taking the pink one I don't think I'm really going to need to take the purple one. I just like it more. I think it's cuter, but I honestly probably won't even take this the more I'm looking at everything. Okay, um, now I'll show you guys my like outfits that I have planned out for a couple of the days. Um, one of them is my pink dress that I got from Walmart. Just looks like this. Very simple, very comfortable, nothing too fancy, just a little flowy and just comfy and not too hot not too cold should work perfectly and then I'm taking this outfit shout out to my friend Angel because she loves Pooh Bear this outfit is dedicated to her I am determined to get a picture with Pooh Bear wearing this outfit um, to recreate like my childhood picture because in my childhood picture I had Pooh Bear on my shirt and I found this shirt in the little girl section when I was at uh, Goodwill and it's Winnie the Pooh it has a little Pooh Bear on there at first I thought it was just like embroidered on or something but it actually says Pooh on the tag so it's legit Pooh Bear so I'll be wearing this shirt and this mint skirt kind of high-waisted like so so that will be one of my little outfits and then um, I'm also doing the magic morning thing where I get to go into the park and like experience things an hour before they open. Uh, I'll be doing that one out of the five days, but I don't know which one just yet. I think it might be Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. Um, then I got uh, this skirt. Very cute. Reminds me of Minnie. I think I got this from Dresslink like eons ago. I wore this uh, for my Minnie costume for Halloween one year, but I'll be wearing this high-waisted with this blue croppy top that was in my AMI clubwear haul so it'll be like that I don't know you guys will have to wait and see pictures to see these outfits like actually on and like I said I'll be vlogging a lot so I'll probably do like outfit of the days and stuff so yeah I'm going with my mom my mom and I are going it's gonna be like a little mother-daughter bonding trip which we need lately ever since I started working. I don't have much time to spend with her lately, so uh, it's going to be nice to have that. Um, then I'm going to be taking... Um, I just kind of threw a couple of other pieces in here. I don't exactly know what I'm going to pair with what just yet, but I have these high-waisted blue shorts that um, I got at Rue 21, and I can either wear, like... Um, a shirt that I get there with it or one of my AMI clubwear crop tops, the pink one, or this super cute like polka dot crop top you guys have seen me wear with that outfit before. And then I'm also taking these lavender shorts or lilac shorts. So I can kind of, like I said, I'm not packing like a ton of outfits to actually wear. I'm packing like three, maybe four that I have planned for sure. But as far as the other days that I'm just going to randomly be in California, I don't have anything literally planned. I just picked stuff that I think would go cute together. And like I said, I definitely plan on buying at least at minimum one t-shirt. So I'm not too focused on trying to pack so much 
of the other outfits that I had in mind. If that makes any sense? I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm planning on buying clothes while I'm there, so I didn't figure I needed to pack a ton. And then for jammies, pajam jams, and that fun stuff. Let me just slip this stuff back here real quick. Put my undies in my bra back. Okay, so for pajam jams, I have never worn these. I saved them specifically for my trip. Uh, they are the little Marie. These are also from Primark, but I bought them off eBay because unfortunately we don't have Primark here, so I couldn't just go to the store and buy them. And then here's the matching little tank. I figured I could also just pair this maybe with a high-waisted skirt and like the little, I don't know, little cardigan thing over it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It really all depends on what I'm feeling while I'm there. It all depends on how hot or how cold it will be. Also, I've been stalking the weather like crazy to see everything. So we'll see about that. Um, I'm taking these velvet shorts. I figured I could probably wear these just as an outfit as well. They don't have to be just pajamas. Those are from Am I Club Wear, you guys have seen before. Then uh, these are also from Primark, but I got these from my friend April. She was selling them and I had to have them obviously because they're Marie again and they say I'm fabulous on the little waistband and these fit more like leggings so I can wear these maybe with like a bigger shirt if I get like a bigger shirt or anything like that. I can kind of just wear these as leggings also. They don't have to just be pajamas. Um, so that's just kind of like an option. I could wear those as jammies or not or whatever. And then I'm taking these leggings, which I can wear as pajamas or not. Again, either way, I'm not really picky as long as it's comfortable and I'm content. I got these leggings at Target in the little girl section. They're just mint and they have super cute little flecks of glitter all over them. So that's mainly all of the clothing that I'm taking. I would typically pack more if I was going somewhere where I knew I wasn't going to be buying clothes while I was there, but I still have this whole section right here. Mind this, obviously this is going to be in here somewhere and probably my makeup and stuff, but I'm going to have a lot of room to buy some stuff while I'm down there. So I'm going to take advantage of that. <laughs> Um, I love you too. Sorry I haven't been like replying. I've just been kind of focused on, um, yeah, I'm not even going to take this purple one. I've decided against it as I'm sitting here going through everything again. Um, but yeah. And then that way having those leggings and the, uh, Marie pants, that'll give me, I'm also taking a pair of jeans and my pink unicorn shirt that you guys have seen a thousand times. That's like my go-to like plane trip airport outfit because it's just chill and comfortable pretty much. Uh, so I will be taking a pair of jeans as well. And they also do have um, laundry machines and everything at our hotel. So if for whatever reason, God forbid, I spill something on myself, which will probably happen, uh, I can wash my clothes while I'm there. So there's that too. But um, yeah, that is everything that I have packed so far that I figured I would run you guys through and show you guys everything. I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit. Um, does she give shout outs or not? Um, sometimes not usually. I usually just like to talk to you guys. Okay, let's see. Gotta rearrange this stuff and make it a little bit cuter. I think I'm going to take this with me when I go on the plane just for the fact that I get cold really easy and our layover is like three hours I think in Seattle. I, I think our layover is three. Our layover in Seattle is three hours on the way there and six hours on the way back. But I am the type of person that really loves leaving super super early in the mornings. Um, if I'm going somewhere because I feel like once I actually get there, I still have the whole day to like experience what I'm doing and I don't like fly in at like 11 or midnight and then I'm stuck in the hotel with like, oh man, I, I missed out on my whole entire day, you know? So, um, our plane is going to be leaving at 5.45 a.m., which I am very happy about because we will be arriving, um, down there at about 1 p.m., 
which still gives us quite a bit of leeway time to do some things when we, um, when we get there. Yeah, I'm, I'm always cold, so I'll probably just take this, and that's why I'm contemplating either using this bag or this bag when I fly down. This one's bigger, so I'm contemplating if I would, should just be able to tie this around my waist or use it as my personal item and just carry it around, or put it in here when I'm not using it. I don't know, it's just, I'll figure that out as I go. I'm not really worried about figuring it out right this minute, but um, yeah, very hype, very excited about everything. Let me know if you guys have been to Disneyland and what your favorite ride is. I'm excited to uh, experience the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride. I loved Tower of Terror so much, but I, I'm kind of sad that it's gone, but I'm also excited because I want to experience the new ride. And I heard, I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that it's almost the exact same concept. It's just like a different storyline. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Okay, so yeah, that is my bag. And it looks humongous, but it's really not that bad. I'm really short and tiny, so it's really not that huge. My mom's bag is the same size. <laughs> and then I have like my little luggage tag on here that I think one of my subscribers sent me. So I filled it out with my name and stuff on the back. But um, yeah, that's what I have so far. Um, my mom has already picked up, someone just said, don't forget rainwear. Um, my mom has already picked up ponchos for us. And yes, a thousand percent. The last time I went to Disneyland, Mind you, this is the reason that, another reason that I want to go back in September, because we went in February, and it rained every single day we were there for a week straight, and it was horrible. It was horrible. It was cold. It was rainy. The weather was disgusting. It was great because there were no lines for any of the outside rides, but it sucked because everything was horrible. But like I said, I've been stalking the weather like crazy and just been looking it up every single day on my phone to see if something's changed. And it says that it should be kind of like mid seventies, um, kind of like up almost in the eighties throughout the day. And it's supposed to be sunshine, 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 but we are taking ponchos. And that is half the reason that I am going to be wearing my jelly sandals with my socks is because those will dry a lot quicker and easier and it won't matter if they get wet or not. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's that. But, um, I kind of forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, she's jelly sandals. Um, but I'm not going to be taking like umbrellas and things like that, but we do have ponchos that we'll take and, um, yeah, I have definitely experienced going to the parks in complete and utter rainstorms though. So yeah, I remember going back to the hotel and blow drying my high top Converse with the hair dryer to dry them. And then we were, it was, it sucked. It sucked so bad. And this is kind of like a redemption trip for us because it was so horrible, such a bad experience during that trip. And Definitely. And also, I've never been when they've had all the Halloween decorations up and everything. That is the one time of year that I haven't been. Um, besides summer, because going in the summer is like dumb, in my opinion. Like there's the lines are so long and it's like really, really, really hot. So I would advise going in the fall or winter time. Winter, I mean like November, December. Um, don't go February because I experienced lots of rain and that was very bad. Um, we went in December and it was great. Um, but I feel like this is going to be as far as weather goes, this is going to be the best trip as far as like the sun and the heat not being so extreme and all of that. So yeah, I'm very, very excited. I, again, I'm sorry. I'm not really replying to your messages. I'm filming on my phone and it's like kind of far away. Um, but, uh, yeah, 
yeah and my face is a lot lighter than my arms because I did my tanner but I didn't put any foundation on today so yeah that's why my face is a little bit more porcelain uh, but I do I have a five-day park hopper pass for both me and my mom so we'll be bouncing back and forth between the parks or I might just go to Disneyland one day and then California Adventure the next day like I don't know exactly how it's all going to play out and that's the fun of it I think the spontaneity of just going and doing whatever you feel like makes a vacation a vacation because if you're constantly like filling planning out everything and making up an itinerary and going through like what you're going to do at what time and where and da 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 da, da you get yourself in this mindset to where you can't enjoy what you're doing currently because oh you got to be somewhere else at this time so you feel like you keep thinking about that event or that scheduled thing in your head you can't really enjoy what you're doing and we've done that the past times and this time I wanted to make it to where like we have places we want to go we have things we want to do we have stuff we want to experience but we're not planning any of it at any given time like I said the Blue Bayou Reservation obviously I had to make that or we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't get um a spot for that uh so I had to make that in advance but other than that as far as like being in the parks go we have no plans I am gonna be buying the max pass uh, for myself, I know 100% because I want the photo pass thing so I can get the photos on my phone and everything. And it's only $10 a day per ticket. So really that's not bad. So 50 bucks, um, for one person. And, uh, it also includes a fast pass on your phone, which is really cool, which is something I was contemplating doing, but, but my mom's going to be in her scooter and we believe that, people who are handicapped or in wheelchairs and in scooters she just got her official handicap card or permit and she just got her new license plate with a little handicap symbol on them so she has her disability card and handicap and everything like that um, as proof in case they ask or something but she has a little card that she keeps in her wallet um, I heard that you just go as if you were going to get a fast pass ticket to the ride and then you just show them that you are handicapped or disabled and considering it's just me and my mom we don't have like a group of like 10 people with us um, I think they give us a little ticket that has like a time and everything on it just like a fast pass and then we um, we go about our business and then we come back to the ride during the time that's on the ticket and then they just let us get on the ride so as far as waiting in line goes, regardless, I don't think we're going to have to wait hours and hours and hours because number one, the time of year that we're going. Number two, my mom is going to be in a scooter and she is considered handicapped. So we'll be able to get on a little bit quicker and stuff, but a lot of the rides she's not able to go on. So I will be able to do single riders. So like California Screaming, Space Mountain, um, she doesn't want to go on those ones and she's not able to because of her neck surgeries and stuff like that so I can just go in the single rider line and get on really quick so I won't really have to worry about that if I do decide to go on the rides um but yeah we'll see what happens uh she's excited her one of her favorite rides her favorite rides are um small world uh jungle cruise she loves Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones too. Oh my goodness. Um, she loves Great Thunder Mountain Railroad. Uh, she was kind of a fan of the, um, the Matterhorn. Uh, but what was that called? The Bobsleds? The Matterhorn? What is that ride actually called? Is it called the Bobsleds? Or is it I don't know the little mountain is the Matterhorn but um since they redid it supposedly it goes faster and I don't know if I want her to get on that ride because I don't want her to hurt herself oh and she's also very excited because they just redid part of the train she loves the train her favorite is the dinosaurs in the train and um, I love that they added that little kind of like western like canyon rivers of America thing to it and I saw a little like ride through or walk through of it when um when it was done I searched YouTube videos to see what it looked like now and everything and um so she she loves the train because we can get from point A to point B without having to walk through all the crowds and everything um let's see is there anything else I'm forgetting is there any questions you guys want me to answer 
Sorry. I'm like, what day is your birthday on? December 7th. And we're going to, when we get um, in the park, we're going to go to the, uh, I believe it's the fire station or city hall. One of the two, they give away the buttons and we're going to get the celebration buttons and we're going to be celebrating like just her being cancer free and stuff like that. So Fantasia show is back. I'm not going to be dressing spooky. I just showed all of my outfits. So um, if you missed it, I will be putting this video up as a regular video, like instead of a live stream. So if you missed anything and you want to see what I'm going to be wearing while I'm there, you can rewatch this once it's up. Um, let's see, any Disney related questions you guys want me to answer before I get off of here? I'm going to get off of here soon because this is 45 minutes long. <laughs> uh, I just did my roots. So my hair is all like fluorescently shiny and beautiful and I love it. <laughs> no, my fiance is not going. I should do a Monsters Inc. outfit, but I don't have any Monsters Inc. clothes. What is the ride I am most excited for? Um, hmm, I want to say Guardians because I haven't experienced it yet. I also have not been to the new Cars Land when I was last there. I think they were going to do it or they were in the middle of doing it or something, but I hadn't done the Cars ride. I love the teacups. I also love Roger Rabbit. Um, oh my gosh. I love, I just love it. I just love being there. Not necessarily even just the rides, but just walking around and seeing everything and smelling all the smells. <sighs> I miss it so much. Um, no, I don't have an autograph book, and I won't be doing one. Um, I'll, I'll just be getting some pictures with a few of the characters. I don't have it set in mind that I'm going to be seeing every character. The cool thing about the Disneyland app on your phone is that you can see which characters are going to be where at what times, so you're not just, like, trying to hunt them down and look for them. It tells you, like, where they're at and when and everything, but I'm, I'll probably get pictures with Mickey and Minnie and Pooh Bear and... Pluto and Goofy and Donald and Daisy and those but like I don't know if I'm gonna like I, I don't have an autograph book I did when I was about four I went through and I got all of the autographs that I could and everything but now it's just a matter of like experiencing the park itself rather than the characters after hours trick-or-treating no I am not and I will not be going to the Mickey's not so scary Halloween party thingy I will not be doing that um, because it's a hundred dollars a ticket <laughs> and uh, I don't know maybe I'll do it next time or a different time or something but this time the funny thing is about this time is I already had planned what days I was going back in January. Like I already had this planned out in my head about what days I was wanting to go. And I had no idea that it was going to be doing during spooky time. I thought they started doing spooky time at the very last week of September. That's why I wanted to go the week before that. Um, but I didn't know that they were doing spooky time September 15th until what, three months ago after all the trip was paid for and everything was bought and reserved and everything. I was like, oh, it's going to be spooky time. At first I was upset because I was just like, oh, I wanted to experience it in its natural state. But then again, it's like I've never been when it's spooky, so I'm excited. Um, uh, the only scary ride is Space Mountain. See, I, di I disagree. Um, I think it all depends on your scare level. And I say that because me, I hate scary movies. I hate anything that has to do with anything like that. Like, oh my gosh, I am terrified. I, I love Halloween and the fact that I could dress up and things like that and do costuming and all that fun stuff. But 
the idea of Halloween and everything, like ghosts and goblins and witches and all that, it's terrifying to me. Like, I hate it, but I love it at the same time. So it's like really weird. And like the decorations are totally opposite of my aesthetic. Like, I feel like the peak, the best time to go to Disneyland would be in the spring during the Easter months and stuff because everything would be pastel and Eastery. And that's like my ideal time to go. So as far as like the decorations being all like orange and black, it's like, ah, it doesn't match my aesthetic. But then again, you're not really going to please your aesthetic. You're going to have a good time and just enjoy it regardless. So I've, I've learned to kind of look past that, that just a few of the rides are going to be like haunted or spooky or whatever. And Haunted Mansion, every single time, I am terrified of that ride. And it's not the ride itself at all whatsoever it has nothing to do with the ride the ride is not scary the ride is okay it's great whatever but when you're in the little elevator thing in the very beginning with that group of people and you're going up and it looks like it's like moving up or if it's going down or whatever when you're in that room there is like one of those bellhop guys or whatever and he kind of just stands there but what he does is the last three times i went on that ride Ugh! he touches someone like he touches their shoulder or goes like <sighs> like that and ah it makes me terrified and I was one of those people and I hold it against them every single time so when I go on that ride I'm constantly just like looking around me like this to make sure he's not gonna scare me because otherwise he'll come up behind me and go like <sighs> like that and I'll be just like, <sighs> you know like I'll scream and it's so bad my they got my niece really bad one time when we went she was standing right next to me and he got her and she's like, ah! It's so scary. Uh, Disneyland, California. It says it in the title of the video. I should probably put California so people don't think I'm like going to Paris or something. I wish. I wish I could go to Disney Tokyo. Tokyo Disney. That That's like my dream is to go to Tokyo Disney. But for now, I'm going to go to the one that's closest to me. <laughs> and so many people say Disney World is so much better. But you guys. I've experienced Disneyland before and I know it's gonna be good and I know I'm gonna love it and I'm familiar with everything and I want to go to Disney World I want to experience something new and just kind of get a feel for what else is out there but at the same time it's like Disneyland already has my heart so hard that it's it's difficult to like part with it and go to a different park but um and it's the closest so it's usually the cheapest so yeah I've heard that Disney World is like four times the size of Disneyland but I've also been to a uh, Universal Studios in California Legoland in California SeaWorld in California and San Diego in California so I've never as far as anything Disney or theme parks I usually stay within California I haven't been to Knott's Berry Farm though, but it's pretty much like Silverwood here because I'm in Washington and we have a theme park in uh, Idaho that's called uh, Silverwood and it's kind of like the same idea as Knott's Berry Farm. Yes, I will be vlogging every single day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because yeah. Knott's isn't worth it to be honest uh, pretty much it's just roller coasters and honestly if I wanted to go to roller coasters I would just go to Silverwood because it's like 45 bucks for an admission ticket both places I think it might be 50 now I don't know that was a few years ago but um it's pretty much just it's dinky and tiny and lame compared to Disneyland and California Adventure and that's the thing is like Disneyland and California Adventure aren't just about the rides. It's just about like the shopping experience and walking around and all of the foods and the smells and the just sights, just seeing everything is so like magical and I love it so, 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 so much. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because this is really long. I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing. Uh, usually, I will tell you guys right now, usually I pack a stuffed animal because um, I tend to sleep with a plushie even though I am 24 years old I am not ashamed to admit that I usually sleep with a plushie every single night usually it is my little 
wolf right here. He's looking a little matted and grungy because I sleep with him every single night. But usually I would pack him with me hands down 100%. But this gives me an excuse to buy a plushie while I'm there. Hopefully the first night. So uh, yeah, we'll see if I can't get a cute little plush. We might go to downtown Disney the first night or something. I don't know exactly just yet. I'm glad downtown Disney is open super late because if we want, we can stay out later and go there. Um, but yeah, I had always wanted to get one of those pink princess bears at the Build-A-Bear. But honestly, I think I'm over that. I think I would want to get like, I want to get so bad. Let me know. Let me know, you guys. Let me know. My sister told me that when she went to Disneyland a few months back, she went in April, in like the beginning of April, she said that in the shop across from Ariel's Grotto in California Adventure, that there are Duffy plushies, Duffy plushies and like the clothing accessories and things like that. She told me that she thought that was true but she wasn't sure a hundred percent, but I really, really, really want to get a Shelly Mae plush. So I'm hoping that if they have Duffy, they have Shelly Mae and I can get her. So, um, I'm not going to try all the food. Goodness. I don't have that much money, but, uh, I'm going to try lots of the treats and everything. And then they have like the special, like spooky time snacks, like the macarons and, um, the bat cookies at Starbucks and all that stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I've never had Dole Whip. I'm excited. My sister said that the best one is next to the Tiki Room. Oh my gosh, the Tiki Room. I love the Tiki Room. Ah! Um, but I really, I want to get a Shelly Mae plush. But I also want to get Lady from Lady and the Tramp. So, I don't know. I don't want to commit to a plushie the first day and then be walking through, like, the next park, the, the park the next day and then being like, Oh my gosh, this one's so much cuter. Because I told my mom, I said, I'm only allowed to buy one plush. One plush. I'm only allowed to buy one. Don't let me buy any more because I have too many plushes. I have too many. And I just, I'm trying to limit myself. I'm trying to limit myself to buy more practical things like clothing or stationery or, you know, things like that rather than a plushie that's just gonna sit on the wall or some or sit on the bed or something so uh yeah I don't know I really want a Shelly Mae plush but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens the last time I went I got a Bambi one and then this Marie one I actually got from JC Penny oh yes I will be at Disneyland on Saturday because Saturday is usually when they have the I don't know if it's like it used to be, but usually in on Saturday is like their biggest firework displays are on Saturdays. So um, yeah, I plan to be there for that. That's why I wanted to be there on Saturday because I love their firework displays. They're beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to watch World of Color or not. I would like to, but I'm not going to plan it. But a secret Starbucks. I did not know that. Yeah, they have, it kind of blends in. I read online. I have it actually, I think I saw it the last time I was there, but last time when I was there, they had like a legit Starbucks and McDonald's in California Adventure right next to the Goofy Sky School coaster. It was like right there, right underneath of the roller coaster. And it was obvious like Starbucks, McDonald's. But since then, I think they've taken that out. Um, but they do have a Starbucks definitely, but it blends into the other shops around it. So it's kind of like a secret hidden Starbucks. Um, yeah, there's, there's someone just said that there's four. I know of at least one in Disneyland and I know of two in California Adventure. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go so the people who came in late will be able to watch this when it goes up. Um, it just has to process and everything. YouTube has to process it as a video, um, but it should go up by the end of tonight, obviously. But, um, but um, I will go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you see me when I am down there this coming week, please, please, please say hi. Please tap me on the shoulder, say hi, take some pictures with me. I'm just going to be with my mom, so don't feel intimidated or anything like that. Like I said, I pretty much have no plans. So if you see me down there, say hi. We could take some photos together. Um, 
Somebody is trying to get in my room. Hold on a sec. Oh, it's Fluffy. Fluffy, come here. Come here, Fluffy. Come here. This is who was trying to get in my room. Little Fluffy cat. Hey, look at the camera, Goofy. Right there, yeah, so they can see your pretty blue eyes. This is my mama's kitty, Fluffy. Well, she's kind of our kitty, but yeah, that's Fluffy. Her and Rebel get along really well, and she comes in my room all the time to get some loves. So, yeah, I figured I'd show her because I don't really ever show her on my videos. I show her on my Snapchat all the time, though, so you guys can totally follow me on Snapchat. It's in the description if you want to follow me on there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I might do a live stream while I'm down there. Like I said, I'm not sure just yet, but um, yeah. Yes, I will talk to you guys later. And I will be, I won't be replying to business emails or things like that. I won't be pro replying to messages at all. Um, text messages, obviously, like with my friends or family and things like that. Obviously, those will get tended to. But um, I will probably be posting on Instagram. Um, but I won't be replying to, like, DMs or messages or emails or anything. Um, I may or may not even respond or favorite tweets while I'm gone because I don't know how busy I'm going to be and this is kind of like a vacation. So just bear with me on that if you're trying to get a hold of me or something. And yeah, I guess I will go ahead and let you guys go since this <laughs> cat hair everywhere. Since this video is an hour long, um, I will let you guys go and I will talk to you all later. Oh, and I probably will be posting on my Snapchat. So if you follow me on Snapchat, it's in the description. It's Amanda.31409. So uh, yeah, it'll be this whole next week. I will be there, hopefully, provided everything goes well. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right. Bye, guys. Yes, end the stream. Okay, bye.